Hello guys, welcome to Novio of Carolina EDC Reviews. Today we will be testing out the Rapid Force 10 tactical kit here that just came out with from Ellen Gear. As you know, I'm a big fan of Ellen Gear. They do come out with a lot of cool holsters, especially duty holsters uh, for law enforcement, military, whatever it may be, or security capabilities. And just the fact that how versatile it is, many ways to mount it and use it, change it, interchange it, and everything else. Now, right now, this is a limited offer. They only have for the Glock and the SIG model pistols, and they are light compatible and RMR cut compatible as well. It has like a level three retention type holster, and it got a quick disconnect detachable holster, which you can configure however you like it, and it gives you a more versatile of what all comes with this kit. Now, there's one thing I don't have with me at the range, which I'm not going to be using, and it's a Molly uh, quick disconnect detachment you can uh, put on your Molly on your vest. And basically, what it is, you can remove your holster and snap it into the uh, detachable quick disconnect they use. And you'll be able to carry your firearm on your chest rig if you like to carry it that way. Kind of safe, eliminates a little bit of space around your belt. But a lot of people don't really like carrying it that way. My preference, I don't like carrying a pistol that way either. So I'm just gonna use the drop leg here kit here. Now again, this is the tan, and as you can see, it's got many ways to configure this holster. Uh, have it on the HRT uh, belt here. If you haven't seen the review, check out this belt. Very lightweight, very durable, and awesome. All right, so it's got a belt um, detachment here for your um, belt here to your holster. And all those you slide in your belt or you can take the screws out and mount it however you like it and it um, accommodates any molly type belts or anything like that nature and like i was saying before they have been using this quick detachment here which basically you have the quick detachment here you press these two buttons here and then you be able to release your holsters now this is on a leg drop tie kit here and again you you don't have to carry this if you don't like to so if you want to carry more traditional and in closer up higher into your body to your belt you can do so by removing again the quick attachment here on your holster and you'll be able to remove this try and do this on camera and again here's the quick detachment just slides right in and it snaps and now you have a regular standard carry here and you can um you know can it if you want to it's got just a ability on the back if you like to can it and everything else uh again if you like to run the leg strap you can do so now it does have different uh length of straps here which is swivels and move with your leg so if you uh you know bend down to your knees and everything it's going to be able to move and move with your body and again you'll do is unscrew this screw and the one on the bottom and you can change this out very easily and again this one's got the quick detachment as well which again if you want to run as a drop leg it snaps right in and again you have the quick detachment on the bottom as well which it snaps right in just like that now it comes with a leg strap two different type of buckles now they sent me the one with the cobra buckle which is more heavy duty metal or you can use the plastic one which is a bigger buckle as well it snaps right in the cool thing about this leg drop it's got a little bit of elastic here in one end and gives you a little bit of stretch and more com be comfortable as well it has kind of rubber material sewed in into the strap here which is going to catch into your clothing it's not going to move and it's going to be more secure in that nature now as any rapid force uh they have this one is more improved than the previous one which again it comes with a lot of options where you can configure the button however you like as you can see it's got the bigger size you can uh change this to different height to whatever may be whatever works for you you can do so now this is going to be more of a level three type holster again this is going to be configured for the rmr and as you can see they configured this hood here to accommodate um armars with bigger optics uh in that nature um i think this will fit the ones with the acox and the swamp fox if i'm not mistaken but this one that i have here has a compensator so it's not going to work as well with this one because of the compensator it's not it's not going to lock in as you can see because the compensator is stopping it from going all the way down to lock in again but you still be able to use that and be able to holster it if you want to now this is a standard matrix arm metal frame and it locks right in it does have a little bit of wobble because that's just the dimension of the frame but as you can see it does accommodate and also it's got a cutout here for high suppressors so if you got high suppressor sights it's gonna 
clear that off and again for your tlr light now there's a list down below again i'll put all the specs down below to what lights are compatible to this pretty much everything as far as streamline enforce um surefire uh old light and all that nature it will fit now again as you can see this a little bit different because of this frame let's try glass 17. now this is again a different type of frame but it does have suppressors as well and it goes right in and it locks in and again you got the hood there to lock it in now the way this works again you have to have two motions to be able to unlock this is going to unlock the hood and it's still not going to come out you have to kind of sweep this button on the back here to release the firearm to be able to come out again it takes a little practice uh, after a while you get used to it and you have to kind of work with it but you're gonna see if i can do this on camera like this you're gonna come down with grip and press and release so it's kind of one motion movement that you have to do to be able to release that firearm just like that um, again it's going to vary as far as the optics and the type of pistols you're going to use but again this is meant for the glock and they also do have the sync and i'm using a different style frame and uh, type of optic and everything but it's going to clear just fine but we're going to use the matrix arms because it's the most simpler easy again it does have a little wobble but that's not going to affect the function of the holster right here it's going to lock on the hood of the firearm not the light so that's the way it's gonna hook. That's the secure way to um, this holster works. Uh, you can uh, adjust the retention as well right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Quick detachment, it has a lot of extra stuff that you can uh, accommodate to your preference. But anyways, enough talking. Let's step to the range, do some drawing from it and give my final opinion what I think about the uh, new kit from Ellen Gear, the Tactical Model 10. Stay tuned. Hi guys, I want to say thank you to Nautilus Ammunition for being a sponsor of this channel on ammo. If you're looking for range ammunition, 2 to 3 or 9 millimeter, they have the highest quality ammunition, typically cheaper than the other retailers or anything else. They are homemade, American made, great quality, cheap, typically around 3 to $5 dollars cheaper than other manufacturers out there. But check out Nautilus Ammunition and check the discount code down below, how to save 5% off your order, no limits. Hi guys, like I was saying, uh, put the shorter strap so it's sit a little bit higher because again, I'm not that tall, but if you are taller, you got longer legs and you got to position it in the uh, leg a little bit lower than you have to or light to that preference, you can change again the little plastic strap that swivels when you, uh, you know, move around on your holster here that connects from the bottom of your leg strap to the top of your, uh, what you call it, the uh, holster belt strap here, whatever you call the mount. And you can adjust it again if you don't want to carry it that way you can also do move just the holster to the top and then you got your standard a uh, little bit lower kind of mid-rise i guess you can say uh carry holster here and again you got the make sure you get the leg strap which it comes with it everything comes with this kit and again it's a little pricey but that's what you get with a lot of stuff on there and then you have the versatility or care however you want to again you got the press and release the buttons one motion but let's go ahead and uh do some uh drawing here so all right here we go Again, it takes a little bit of practice to get used to this holster again with the two button motion. It's very simple again, with a lot of dry fire drawing and everything, you can do this uh, holster very nice and well and pretty quick if you keep practicing. So far, so good. Not any issues, but as you know, keep talking, we probably have one here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. This, uh, uh-oh, something happened there. Oh, I got a 17 match, that's why. <laughs> All right, let's continue.
Yep. Again, take some practice, get used to holsters. Not every holster is the same. Uh, like I say, I done tried this rapid force before in the past, but again, I did not adjust it to the liking a light. I might switch that, that little back button. It's a little bit lower than I need to, but once you press it down, it should automatically clear. And again, with practice and not thinking repetition, you can get this pretty good. But, all right, let's uh, change it up here. Just to kind of give you an idea. How easy it is to unbuckle this. How easy it is to change this. And I say that while I'm trying to do so. There we go. That's a pressing button hard enough. All right, so. There we go. We locked in. And now we're going to draw a more traditional. Again, you see how high it goes up to me. This is a perfect perfect high for me. More like a mid-rise type carry. And I'm easy to draw this weapon when I need to. Again, I need to change those buttons. Again, they come with extra different size button height that works better for you. I think this button is a little bit too high. Or not high enough, I'm sorry, for me to see what I mean. There we go. Again, we practice. There we go. All right. Now we're getting it. Ah. Just not doing too good shooting today. There we go. All right. So, again, take these things off. All right, so again, this is what is gonna carry standard. Again, if you like to carry a leg drop, again, easily you have to do it, just mash those two buttons, grab your leg, drop holster or attachment here, click it in, click your holster in. You just bring your leg strap around. And again, you can get two different type of Buckles here, plastic or the cobra if you want it more durable. It's gonna cost you a little extra course. But there you go. That's the way it looks. Uh, again, you can change the height of this. If you like to carry a little bit lower, which to me, that's way too low for me. Kinda of falls naturally when my hands falls here. So I'm able to, you know, draw that weapon. And yeah, there you go. And just takes practice, guys. That's pretty much it. You just gotta practice where any holster you uh, acquire, and after a while, you're gonna get very quick with it. You know, naturally, your hands will fall, your thumb will fall when you come and grip that hand handgun. It's gonna press that button, and you're just gonna bring the thumb down to release that gun off the holster. Press and swipe back, kind of basically trying to get that grip and just draw from it. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, let's continue shooting. All right, guys, quick little simple video. Again, just want to bring this new kit to do so you can see what I have available new on Ellen Gear, and this is the Rapid Force. Uh, tan kit, tactical tan kit that I have available. Very limited offer, but make sure to check those guys out again. They got it for the Glock and a sick pistol, compatible with many different lights. Again, everything will be down below so you can check and see what's available to be able to use. Uh, rapid force again with the new hood here, which is going to be more uh, again geared to bigger optics. Now, the optics have got bigger, and you got the um, aim point macro and the swamp fox and stuff like that. You know, sorry I couldn't really show you the one with Swamp because I got a compensator. I don't want to feel like taking it off. 
But anyways, as far as the leg drop, tactical tan kit here from uh, Ellen Gear. I like it. I like leg drops again and the capability to change it from back and forth. You don't have to worry about it if you don't like to run the uh, leg drop one day. You can simply take the holster off and attach it up here and then you have your standard carry, which is more like of a mid rise type or mid rise or whatever it may call uh, type uh, carry holster for your offside or duty holster, whatever it may be. You know, a lot of people have preference and that's good. And again, this gives you a lot of, a lot of options to be able to adjust it the way you like it. Again, um, not very inexpensive, but <laughs> you get a lot of stuff here from Ella Gear. And again, you get your uh, belt uh, connection here, quick disconnect for your holster. You get your leg drop attachment, leg strap. And again, you get the Molly attachment, which I didn't use in the video because I really don't care for it. But you have the option as well to attach it to a tactical vest or plate carrier, whatever it may be that has Molly up front. And basically it's the same thing as this and it's got a can to it where you can uh, directly put the pistol like so and be able to carry it on your chest rig if you like to carry it that way as well and just gives you another option if you like to carry it that way again guys let me know what you think about the rapid force if you have tried in the past again this is a new model here and they have it in tan now <coughs> excuse me but as far as black i'm not sure they'll have it in black who knows when in the future they'll come out with a black one but anyways, let me know down below what you think about the Alien Gear Rapid Force Tactical Tan Kit. Again, for the SIG and Glock, compatible with lights and uh, red dot optics, and also with the bigger ones as well. More of the uh, uh, enclosed emitter type optics. Again, they have out there, you can use this. Uh, again, not sure what all, uh, all the ones that will fit, but it should fit the micro, uh, you know, where's it go aim point <laughs> mine went kind of lost it there but anyways <laughs> all right guys that's pretty much it just a quick little video bring you new um product from ellen gear again in the tan color a lot of people like the fd tan whatever it may be now you have an option in the rapid force for that all right guys that's pretty much it as usual if you're new to the channel make sure to like subscribe like all that good stuff there is a uh, membership button here if you like to donate every month just a little bit one dollar every month you do so don't have to but always a thumbs up it's more appreciated again like subscribe follow me on all social media like instagram twitter face facebook and also follow me on rumble in case the channel gets deleted or anything else that may happen you can see all the videos over there as well and as usual thank you for watching and i'll see you the next one goodbye